Today is a very exciting day because the rhinos have finally arrived. Each of these containers with a single rhino inside have traveled roughly about 14 hours from Natal. I'm pretty sure the rhinos can't wait to get out and be released into the reserve. But most exciting thing about today's release is that they are black rhino. In 2008, a group of white rhino released here. If you're wondering what the difference between the two is, let me explain. The white have longer necks and wider mouths, making them better adapted for grazing, while the black rhino have shorter necks and pointed mouths, which are better adapted for browsing. Luckily, our reserve has both grasslands and trees, making it a good habitat for both species. Another difference is that white rhino is much bigger than black rhino. It grows to 1.8 meters while the black rhino grows to 1.5 meters. A white rhino can weigh 2,000 kilograms while the black rhino weighs around 1,200 kilograms. But the biggest difference between them is their numbers. Thanks to a dedicated and hard-working conservationist, the white rhino population has increased to about 23,000 individuals. Black rhino, however, are only a number of 5,000 and without help may face extinction. At the time of editing this video, the world received the tragic news that the last male of the northern white rhino subspecies had been euthanized. He was 45 years old, and while two females, his offspring, a daughter and a granddaughter, survived him, essentially the northern white rhino now joins the western black rhino on his, the extinction list. With the western black rhino gone, only three subspecies of black rhino remain. Southern Central, Southern Western, and East African. So what's causing all the extinction? Would you believe me if I told you it was this? Yep, rhino horn. It's used to make ornaments or jewelry, but is primarily used in traditional medicine. It is believed that the rhino horn can cure a number of ailments, from cancer to fever, gout to poisoning, and thought to be powerful aphrodisia. According to a study done by Dr. Nico van Staan, in 2006, the longest rhino horn ever recorded was 150 centimeters, white rhino horn, while the longest black rhino horn on record was 130 centimeters. It was found in Kenya in 1928. We go to great lengths to protect our rhinos from poachers, which include the removal of the horn, and in 2013, I reserved embarked on a rhino rescue project, which entailed the infusion of a substance harmful to humans into the rhino horn to safeguard our rhino. Conservationists are looking for ever more radical means to help save this iconic species. One of these initiatives is the Rhino Rescue Project, started by Lorinda Hearn and vet Dr. Charles Vanniekirk. Their idea? To infuse rhino horn with toxin and dye, thereby rendering it useless as a trophy and making it highly dangerous to consumers. Infusing a rhino's horn is a delicate process, which requires a good deal of teamwork. First, the rhinos have to be tracked down in this huge reserve. The easiest way to do this is from a helicopter and dart the rhinos from the air. It only takes a few minutes for the tranquilizing drug to take effect, so the ground team has to move quickly. The animal's safety is the top priority, and the rhino is monitored and kept cool throughout the entire procedure. So then drills all the way into the core, and then we attach these probes to which the infusion device is then attached. I'm putting in a clean drill bit that we get in every DNA kit so that we can obtain some horn material for a DNA sample. The drill bit has to be clean so that there's no cross-contamination with any other samples. 
So along with the horn material, we also collect hair samples and a tissue sample in the form of a little notch that we cut into the ear. A lot of effort goes into the horn infusions, but for Lorinda, doing nothing is not an option. The link to that video is in the comment section below and is worthwhile watching. Back to today's release. At the moment, it may look like a lot of people are standing around doing nothing, but a great deal of work has taken place to get us to this point. The rhino was moved from the truck to the holding container. This container was carefully lowered to the ground. The rhino was sedated using a pole dart and monitored to establish when it was almost asleep. And before it falls asleep, a cloth is laid over its eye. This is it, the doors are about to open. Runners are extremely strong and it takes all of these guys to hold it back. It is also extremely fast. When not sleepy, a rhino can run up to 45 kilometers per hour. Usain Bolt, the fastest sprinter, holds a record for sprinting 44 kilometers an hour. But I don't suggest the average person should try outrun a rhino, rather stay out of its way. Now that the rhino is on the ground, it's time for its pamper session. It's given some lovely accessories. This foot collar enables rangers to track the runner. The bolts are fastened and filed. This is done for two reasons. Firstly, so that the bolts won't come loose or be so that they can't be removed. And secondly, they do not scratch the runner. Now, a pedicure. Rhino's feet have three toes. The toe nails are filed in a unique pattern. This enables trackers to identify the rhinos by their footprints. All small cuts and grazes are treated to prevent infection. The ear plugs that were placed in the ears to give the nice sleep will soon be removed. Some final photos to help with our identification. It is almost time for the rhino to wake up. There is no video footage of the rhino waking up because we don't want it to see the vehicles and feel threatened. It wakes up from its sleep in the most natural environment possible without humans standing around watching it. But I'm sure we'll catch up with these rhinos again in future videos. It has been a very exciting and rewarding day. Every little effort made, no matter how small, even if it's just sharing this video, to make people aware of the work being done, will help save these beautiful animals from extinction. So if you're passionate about rhino conservation as I am, please share the video and encourage others to do so as well. You can also follow me on other social media.
Mr. Rhino. Everybody knows you got one tail, four feet, twelve toes. Mr. Rhino, look what grows. Two big horns on the tip of your nose. I said two big horns on the tip of your nose. Thanks for watching.